Hello guys, today is a remarkable day and a surprising one too for those of you who haven't been regular on the channel. Because today I am at BMW's Namneet Motor dealership to collect my all new BMW M340i. The car is standing just behind me, behind this glass door, waiting to be unveiled. So let's get on with it. So the M340i is the car which I always wanted to be in India. Particularly, the 3 series with a 6 cylinder was unavailable since a while. And I had written numerous emails to BMW India to get one for India. In fact, I had requested if a 330D is possible or a M340D, anything, but just get a 6 cylinder. So that is now here with us. And I had ordered my M340i quite some time ago. And only after I got an official confirmation from BMW India, I officialized it on our channel. So before we unveil this car right behind me, Let's just take a quick look at a small segment which I had filmed back in the stockyard. So right now we are on the way to the dealership stockyard because I got information that earlier today my car just arrived at their stockyard all the way from BMW India's factory from Chennai. And I am extremely, extremely excited because this is the first time I am going to get the first glimpse of my M340. So I think we just entered the BMW stockyard. I see a few cars standing out there. I'm just trying to spot mine. So yeah, I think there it is. There it is. <laughs> that's that's the first glimpse I've had for my car. Let's just go and check it out. So let's just quickly walk to my car. Focus the camera on the car, not me. So that's, that's the first time we are having our eyes on the very special M340i. So this is the Tanzanite blue shade. I haven't seen it before any time in my life. And it, it feels extremely special. The first touch. <laughs> the B58 in all its glory. So we do have some protective covering on the car. And uh, we, we will not be able to take it off just yet. This will be done at the PDI, at the service center. More on the PDI later. But now let's again focus back on the car. Absolutely fantastic. This car is a bit of a sleeper to be honest. There is not much of a giveaway that uh, this is a very uh, different or a differentiated or a distinguished car versus the regular 3 Series. Yes, there are a few badges which are a giveaway. So overall, genuinely... Love this sleeper of a personality of the M340i. So now I have taken the camera in my own hands as we have my car isolated in a very secluded corner of this warehouse. Just have a look at the color guys. As we just saw the car came from outside from proper sun. We can now see more of blues, a bit of violet. And when it's in the proper sun, there is a bit of green as well. More on the color later because it's still pretty much covered. I genuinely love this angle. Let's just quickly have a look at the sticker out here. So this says that the car is loaded with uh, bump stops, which is uh, you know widely used for such vehicles in transport. And uh, you can see the ride height being slightly above what it is supposed to be. So these bump stops will be removed in the next stage of the PDI. Let's just quickly hop in. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, the new car smell. Always so lovely. The first start. Okay. <laughs> Oh, love the detail that the car had shown a Tanzanite blue in the cluster as well. So as you can see, 9 kilometers on the odometer, properly factory fresh. Just fantastic. Let me give it a rev. Pretty subdued. You can't change the modes right now. Because the car isn't, you can say, transport mode and the bonnet is open. 
So that's it from me now from the stockyard. Now the car will head to the service center where a full PDI will be conducted. At the same time, the transport mode will be deactivated into a full function mode for this car. But most importantly, we have a brand new set of 19 inch 792 M's waiting for us, which will replace the OE 18 inch. See you there. <laughs> Simply fantastic. So the car is all prepped now and it's time to take the wraps off my M340i. The 792 M's in all its glory. This is the first time I'm seeing my car with these upgraded rims and they're actually transforming the look completely. Whoa. <laughs> Pilot Sport 4S. So this is a real special tire. You know, it, it's really amazing to get rid of the run flats on day one. And that is something extremely, extremely I'm happy about. Oh, let me feel the rubber. Fantastic. <laughs> so this is definitely the ideal and the perfect spec from my eyes. The Tanzanite Blue 2 Metallic Shade, which by the way is an individual option and in India you get it as a no cost option. So that is very good. And these 792M rims, absolutely perfect. You know, I can see the aggressive negative camber also, you know, which is probably, you know, reserved to the M cars. So that is still there. Most BMWs have it, but I can see this is slightly more aggressive. So yes, the rarity of the car, only 48 cars made out of which eight cars are reserved for the media, the test drive and the event cars. Only 40 cars for retail. That makes it extremely special and extremely rare, at least till the new lot comes in. Till then, there is a more possibility to spot a Lamborghini Urus on the road over the M340i. That exclusive. Also, we need to understand that this is an M performance model, not an M Sport. M Sport is more on the lines of aesthetics and cosmetic mods. M performance is something which uh, BMW introduced against the competition like the C43 AMG or the S5. Not only this is a very special car for the enthusiast in India, but it comes with three accolades. The first being the only M Lite, the baby M or an M performance model made in India by BMW. Call it what you may. Just remember to mention the word M before that 340i. Point number two, this is the only all wheel drive X-Drive sedan by any company offered in India. So this is the only manufactured in India all-wheel drive sedan available. And lastly, this is the fastest made in India car right now on sale in our Indian market. Which brings us to the engine. The primary reason I booked this car. Let's pop the hood. Hydraulic struts. <laughs> so yes, this is the very special B58 motor. I see a lot of people in the media are just calling it the B58. But we need to understand that the B58 was available in the F30 as well with the 340i. After that, BMW gave it a technical update, which they call it the TU and introduced two more variants of the B58 engine. First was the mid-level variant which we see on cars like the Supra when it was introduced 
as well as the Z4 when it was introduced. Also, it came in the X740i at the same time the X540i. But this one here is the higher level output B58 and cars like the M340i were the first one to get it. Also, the X3 M40i and the X4 M40i do get this upper limit B58 motor. So, this high and the upper limit motor gets 382 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. BMW is always conservative with such figures. So, we need to understand even if before the pre break in period we put this car right here on a dyno, it will definitely be more than that 382 figure. Anyway, 0 to 100, 4.4 seconds. I believe Autocar India has already achieved better results at 4.36 seconds with their V-Box. And I'm sure with our sticky Pilot Sport 4S tyres, we will be able to beat that figure as well. Though this is a 2021 model, this does not have that 48 volt hybrid motor. I fear the next lot, BMW India might introduce that and make this B58 a bit mellow. So right now, till then, this is the first lot. And we, let's speak about the front. I particularly love the cerium grey and it really suits the entire character of these M performance model lineups. I don't know why the mainstream media are calling it gunmetal grey. They do have the press release which is spoon fed to them by BMW India. Still, they call it gunmetal grey. However, this is cerium grey and that is what BMW India calls it and BMW Global calls it. The front is again dominated by these BMW laser headlamps. So these are the top of the line headlamps right now in the entire BMW lineup. I'm extremely happy that the M340i, the Indian spec has got these headlamps. These vents, they are functional and that is what I like. And uh, surely adding to the entire subtle aggressiveness of the M340i. Coming to the side, particularly for my car, it's dominated by these beautiful 19 inch 792M wheels, which do a great job for exclusivity, at the same time differentiating my car versus the 330i M Sport, which has the same exact kit. Coming to the rear, I particularly love the rear stance of this generation of the G20. I also love the cerium grey on the exhaust cutouts. The diffuser is uh, definitely aggressive, but it's actually sporty, not aggressive. So yeah, I do like that as well, but I would really prefer something more aggressive. Maybe that's going to be done in the future mods. And also this humble spoiler, though it's, it's not a spoiler, it's a lip. So it's very humble. So this also has to be changed to add a bit more aggression. I also love the overall rare stance of the tires. And these are like 255s at the back and they do contribute a good amount of thickness for the rare. Time to get into the interior. Okay, so I noticed we do have a passenger and overall, I believe this is a typical, typical BMW interior. Ah. Oh, the door. So it smells absolutely factory fresh and that we noticed at the stockyard also. And I love the way the dashboard is slightly tilted towards me. Typical BMW again. I love the gear knob. And this won't be a complete uh, analysis of the interior, but these are just my initial first impressions. Few noteworthy features, the large heads up display, which I'm really looking forward to seeing out on the open road, you know, redlining this car post the break-in period. Again, the Harman Kardon system, this is a 16 speaker unit and uh, should be great sounding. So I'm looking forward to that also. Just a negative here is, uh, I was expecting the roof liner to be uh, a continuation of the seats Alcantara, which it isn't. And uh, that is the only disappointment I am having uh, with the interior. Another observation I noticed is that the key, I genuinely love the key, but a noteworthy observation is that globally, you do get a display key for the M340i, which in India, uh, I don't see it. So again, I'm not complaining, but this is an observation. You know, lesser the screen, the better for the enthusiast. So that's always good. So overall, thanks to BMW India for getting the M340i for India. And particularly at such an accessible price point and a CKD, which makes it good value for money 
for the price. But even though I was the first one to book the M340A for India, I got my car a bit late due to some irrelevant, illogical, logistical reasons given. However, the dealership, Namneet Motors did an absolutely fantastic job. So a bigger thank you to the dealership. And I would like to introduce the sales personnel who made the entire process very smooth for us. And that is Mr. Musaddiq. So I would like to say thank you. And so if you guys, any of you who are watching the video, want a BMW anytime, this is the man. So before we are allowed to get the car outside the showroom, let's get done with the official paperwork. These are some very emotional moments for me and I'll prefer spending some alone time with my M340i. Now I will see you all soon with a complete full review and an initial ownership experience of my M340i very soon. And on that note, thank you for watching.